Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be starting off a, a new tutorial series all about redstone um, what it is, what we can use it for um, yeah and just basically how this stuff works now this what you see in front of you on your screen is redstone ore it is found at levels 19 and below uh, you can find out your levels by clicking F3 and you can see it under the Y coordinate I'm currently at 65 you want to be at lower than 19 to be able to find uh, redstone ore now once you've got your redstone ore it's there in front of you looking nice it glows when you hit it um, you're going to want to mine it out now to mine it out you're going to require a diamond or an iron pick to be able to do this and to mine you simply left click and if you found redstone I'm sure you know how to mine so that's it um, unlike most ores which require you to put them into a furnace redstone simply drops its dust it usually drops between uh, five and four and five uh, redstone dust and yeah that's basically it. So that is redstone ore. That's where you get this magical redstone dust from. Now redstone dust can be used for a couple of things. Um, it can be used to make little patterns on the floor, but that's not very useful. So what we do is we use it to power items. Um, such items include uh, dispensers, pad rails, pistons, uh, note blocks, trap doors, doors, and a few other things. Now, to be able to control those, what we're going to need is some sort of power source. Now, the first power source you're likely to want to create, or you, you should create, is a redstone torch. And now, these are basically created like you'd create an usual torch with just a stick and redstone above it. Now, this has a default state of on whereas redstone dust has a default state of off but if we place the um, redstone dust directly next to the redstone torch the redstone dust also powers as well as going straight as it is facing into the redstone torch now um, <coughs> redstone torches itself only power the blocks directly in contact with it so if I was to place a torch uh, dust here it would not power it this is because it only does the four faces of its block and now you've got to imagine that the uh, torch itself is a solid block and that it is powering all the blocks around it so if the wooden bit is the uh, torch this red wall is where it can power and that is the four oh, one two three four five the five um, places that a redstone torch can power speaking right now it can power a few more places but they require more blocks and I'll get around to talking about them probably in another episode now redstone torches um, aren't the only form of power there is a couple of other ways of powering stuff here are <laughs> here they are now um, the first one I'm going to show you is a uh, button now basically what a button is is it gives a um, temporary power so if you press it, it gives power for about a second and then turns back off the next one I have here is a lever it either has an on or off state and you can flick between those at will just like that the next one is a uh, stone pressure plate now as you can see here we have a stone and a wooden pressure plate now what's different about these is stone requires a player to get onto it but if we place a item it doesn't change a wooden one also reacts to a player powering the redstone wire but if we place items on it it also powers and what you see here is a detector rail these do not power with a human going over them 
or items what they require is a minecart to be placed directly onto them and then they can release their power now say you wanted to power this dispenser here full of cake what you want to do is when you press a button you want the cake to turn on now you need to find now this is just talk this is how I solve my problems so I want to power this dispenser with the button somehow I need to get the power is re that is released by this button now we can find out what directions the button releases power from just by simply doing some tests so if we place redstone there there and there you'll see that they're all powered we could also try placing it there it also seems to get powered and we can try a few other places as well such as underground now as you can see there that is also powered but then if we like try over here the redstone wire does not get powered now so we want to extract one of these power um, supplies to this um, uh, dispenser now what you could think of doing is if you have a wall here uh, you could you know just try and place it behind like that oh yeah that joins them up okay that's gonna work no it doesn't because redstone um, devices such as uh, dispensers or just other devices that require or can use the power of redstone require the uh, dust to be pointing directly into the device like this dispenser so to be able to join up the power we have to link it around like that such that the uh, line is going directly into the dispenser so now if we press the button the dispenser re releases some cake <coughs> but if you what I blocked off before is the fact that the tor uh, button can also power directly next to it and if you get this little cross thing this means that it will power the on the right uh, forward back and to the left such that if you press the button if you take off that one there it will still release cake okay also with powering devices you do not need them directly next you do not need them um, to be uh, powered by the redstone dust you can have them directly powered to the input such that if I placed a dispenser here filled it with cake and press the button it will still release a redstone because the power if you if we imagine the uh, redstone the power going into this block through the button it is also powering around and so if the dispenser is on this um, red block here then it is being powered so okay the next thing I'm going to talk about is the way that redstone power and torches react so what we're gonna look at now is a simple puzzle that many people will face in their world and this is um, trying to detect whether an item is there or not and this can be um, a problem in many things such as uh, mob um, mob machines, uh, cactus farms, whatever you call it you often get item drops but you're not there the whole time and you want to be warned when the item is there so to solve this problem what we use is redstone and a wooden pressure plate because as we know wooden pressure plates react to the um, to items being on top of them and they give out a signal like this now to be able to get this into a torch display what we're going to use is the fact that if power is going into these blocks so if you imagine the red this red stuff is powering this block here then the torch on top of it will have power going into it and th therefore will turn off so I'll show you that now if we have power going into this box so this blocks currently powered this torch will turn off so that's basically solved our problem if 
there is an item on the uh, pressure plate, it sends power, turning the torch off. If you take the item away, the torch is on. But we don't want that. What we want is it to be on if there is an item. So to do this, what we're going to use is our first logic game. And this is called an inverter, or properly called a NOT gate. So if we have power, if we this is our NOT gate. So if we have power going into it, you see that the torch goes off. So this is the opposite of its input. And then we can simply hook this up to our display. So now that if there isn't any power going into this, this should then turn on, powering this, turning off that. So it kind of goes on, off, on. So it's basically inverted twice. And there you see the item has been taken away, the um, initial redstone wire has been turned off, allowing this redstone torch to turn on, powering this redstone wire, turning this torch off. Thank you very much for watching the first installment of my redstone tutorial. If you already have any questions, I will definitely um, be answering them in the comments section below, so just leave them there. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.